Hello everyone, all who are one body of Christ. I say welcome to the Theodos Goodness together. Today we're meditating upon. If we call ourselves believers of Christ Jesus, we must meet hate with love. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about on this topic. First John chapter 4, verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we just read. There is too much hatred around us. Even when we don't see that hatred, it always stays in front, walking aside us, or comes towards us in the full force. Let me spell this out in simple language. Envy, revenge, grudges, and anger all seem to be around every single avenue of our corner of our lives. We find those things in politics, racism, families, and even in churches as well. Jesus told us that the greatest command is to love God and love our neighbors. Most of us can get with that, but he extended that call by saying to love our enemies. What does that even mean? Are we talking about political enemies, people who've wronged us, people who we disagree with? Do we really need to love them? And if so, how? There are so many historical events in the scriptures to encourage us. The best one is Jesus himself, but today we will be discussing a well-known story of a person who has set a good example in American history that will affect all his supporters. In 1956, Martin Luther King Jr. was speaking at a rally around 9 p.m. A boy interrupted him and shouted that the king's house had been firebombed by the Ku Klux Klan. The king ran out of the rally and found his old house on fire. The police and fire department were there, along with the very large, angry mob of citizens from Montgomery, Alabama, there to support their king. They surrounded the house with rifles, baseball bats, and other weapons ready to retaliate. The people were looking to get an eye for an eye. The king stepped onto the porch of his home and said these words, I want you to love your enemies, be good to them, love them, and let them know that you love them. We must meet hate with love. What are we doing? What we are doing is right. What we are doing is just. And God is with us. God, go home with love in our hearts, with faith, and with God in front, and we cannot lose. As he spoke these words, the angry mob put the guns down and the baseball hats down and spontaneously broke into a singing Amazing Grace. They sang, they cried, and they peacefully went back to their homes. When we return, hate will with it never ends well. But when we turn the other cheek, even to our enemies, that's when change is on the way. Martha Luther King brought change to the world by seeing things as Jesus saw them. That kind of love Jesus caused to us is not always easy, but it is always right. Those who choose to love God, our neighbors, and our enemies with the reckless love will be the ones who change the world. This message was given as a promise today today. Promise says, Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. And weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not be haughty in mind, but associate with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Never pay back evil for evil to anyone. Respect what is right in all the sight of all men. If possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave this room for the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. And if he is thirsty, give him a drink. For if in doing so, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Let's close time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, I come before you asking you to soften my heart and give me the capacity to love my enemies. Help me to overcome the challenge we struggle with every day of our life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a day, one of God's, we can talk to you tomorrow.